Hey guys, welcome to this video. I want to answer a question about what we think about or questions we have to answer before a lawsuit is filed. And so what questions need to be answered before filing any type of lawsuit? Let me stress that, any type. This is true if it's a personal injury case. So a car wreck case, a truck wreck case, train wreck case. It's true of suing a debt collector or a credit bureau or mortgage company. It's true of suing a financial advisor. Really, that would be an arbitration. But bringing a claim against a financial advisor for giving terrible advice or mismanaging your money, that type of thing. So really, any type of lawsuit against somebody, we want to ask the three questions that I'm about to tell you. Now, before I go to the next slide and show you those questions, let me say this. We go through a whole lot more questions, okay, than the, these are just the three very, very basic, big picture questions that you have to answer. And, and we get a lot of cases brought to us by other lawyers. And even though it seems so basic, maybe particularly to the lawyers who are watching this, we do have to go through these steps because sometimes we can get so fixated on one of these questions that we forget that the others aren't answered in the right way. So here are the three questions. Number one, did the defendant do something wrong? They have to have done something wrong. In other words, we can't say, oh, well, I was terribly injured in this and the defendant has a ton of money. Well, that doesn't matter if the defendant did nothing wrong. They have to do something wrong for you to be able to bring a lawsuit against them. Now, after we establish, yes, the defendant did something wrong. That could be they were negligent. They were reckless. They violated the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. They you know, were guilty of self-dealing as a financial advisor. The, the, the driver of the UPS truck ran the red light and crashed into me. Whatever it is, they did something wrong. Number two, then you say, okay, it, Am I hurt? Have I been damaged by this? Okay, so let's take that example. UPS truck driver blows through a red light and misses you. And you don't crash. You're just like, whoa, I'm glad I didn't, you know, pull out even though I had the green light because this idiot ran the red light. Well, I would say to you, that's not a suit to file because you haven't been injured. Now, the one exception I'll say with this is, certain types of federal claims. So we talk a lot on this channel about consumer claims. So FDCPA, Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, or the Fair Credit Reporting Act, or RESPA, Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act, all these different types of law, Telephone Consumer Protection Act. That's when you get robo-dial calls and text messages to your cell phone. Some of those have what are called statutory damages. And with statutory damages, you do not have to be hurt. We just need a violation of the law, and then you may be entitled, for example, under the FDCPA to a, up to $1,000 total for the whole case. Fair Credit Reporting Act, if you have intentional conduct, it can be up to $1,000 per violation. The TCPA can be up to $1,500 per illegal call or text. Okay, So the federal laws have a little bit different side of it, but we always look to see, have I been hurt? Have I been damaged? economically, out of pocket, and or emotionally or pain and suffering. So this is what we're looking at. Did the defendant do something wrong? If the answer to that is no, then we don't go any further. Then we say, okay, have I been hurt or damaged? And unless we're talking about one of those special federal laws, if the answer to this is no, then there's no case. And then we go to number three. All right, so I know the defendant did something wrong. I know I've been hurt. I've been damaged. But does the defendant have the money to pay me? Or does the defendant have insurance to pay for my damages? So it doesn't do us any good to say, boy, this defendant did just terrible, terrible conduct. And it caused me all sorts of problems. So I'm going to sue them and they have nothing to pay me. That doesn't do you any good. I mean, you may get a, a default judgment where it says you're entitled to $5 million. Well, if there's no way to collect that, it doesn't do you much good. So this is kind of a simple three-step process. to say, okay, did that defendant do something wrong? Did it hurt me? Did it cause me damages? And then number three, 
is there somebody who has money to pay that's legally responsible for my damages, my injuries? So I hope that that's helpful to you. And uh, feel free to put any comments below. Feel free to subscribe to our channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.